Hey guys, I'm Jameson with Rogue Engineer and today I'm going to be going over the top five tools that I recommend to anyone looking to get into woodworking. Let's get started. Number one on my list is a drill driver. Now this could be one tool, this could be two tools. It depends on what you want and what your budget is. Now here I have an impact driver which is a great tool for putting in wood screws or bolts or whatnot. It actually inside of the impact driver has a little bit of a ratcheting mechanism that as you're driving that screw into the wood it's going to be kind of pounding into it making sure that you don't strip those heads. Now this is a drill and the purpose of this tool is to be able to drill holes. However, most drills nowadays have a, a collar here or a clutch that adjusts the torque of this drill and turns it into a driver so that you can adjust the depth that you want to insert those screws. But if you're drilling a hole in a piece of wood, then what you want to do is go all the way up to the drill setting and that's going to give you the maximum amount of torque and power from the tool. This drill also has two speeds which allows you to go down to a lower speed and provide a higher amount of torque for drilling in drilling bigger holes in wood or a high speed for drilling like a long fastener. Now this drill actually has an added feature of the hammer setting. Now if you flip that collar all the way over to that hammer setting, what that's going to do is similar to the impact but more powerful is it's going to give you that hammer feature which is going to allow you to be able to drill into harder things like concrete or stone. To recap, we've got two tools here, however they could be combined into just this singular tool, but in my shop I would prefer to use the impact for most day-to-day -day screwing jobs and uh, fasteners that we're inserting into wood, while the drill would be reserved just for drilling holes. Tool number two on the list is the Craig pocket hole jig. And obviously you need the drill and driver in order to operate this jig and that is why it's tool number two. But this is a very basic entry level uh, joinery method. And what this jig does is it allows you to drill holes on an angle so that you can take two flat pieces of wood and butt them together and screw them through that joint, making sure that you have a nice tight joint with a mechanical fastener. Now Craig offers a ton of different jigs designed for different jobs. They've got smaller versions which can get you into tighter spaces or they have the benchtop versions like this 720 Pro I have here. They also have um, a powered version that you can um, use to drill a ton of pocket holes and it's going to make things a little bit faster. So if you want to learn more about the Craig jig make sure you go to craigtool.com. Now number three on the list is a miter saw and I use a miter saw almost for every single project and that's because with a miter saw you get a nice quick and easy 90 degree cut through any piece of wood as long as it fits the capacity of your miter saw. Now you can also adjust your miter saw to a 45 degree angle or whatever angle you need to cut for that project. Having a miter saw in the shop is going to make things a lot faster and easier and more precise when it comes to getting those nice 90 degree, 45 degree or whatever degree cut you need to make. Now number four on the list is a circular saw. Now circular saws are great for things like ripping down plywood or making those long cuts that could be useful for a number of projects. However, a circular saw is kind of limited in its preciseness or accuracy based on the operator. Now most of us are not going to be able to make that perfectly straight cut all of the time so I highly recommend something like a straight edge guide like this one right here. That way you can clamp it down to the board and that's going to allow you to run that circular saw down that straight edge and give you that nice straight line that you're looking for. Now an upgraded option as opposed to a circular saw would be something like a track saw. Now this is a track saw from Ryobi that's a newer product of theirs so I haven't tried this one out yet. However, track saws are a great way to make those straight cuts and be able to break down that plywood. Now the way that a track saw works is you can make those two tick marks to get that straight line that you want and then you don't even need to draw that line. You can simply lay this track out along that line and then make your cut with that track guide on the track saw. So if you've got a little bit more money in the budget, I highly recommend a track saw. And this is something that would even uh, be a substitute for most 
table saw task. And now we're on the fifth and final tool, which is a brad nailer. Now this is an 18 gauge brad nailer. It's battery powered and it shoots brad nails from five eighths of an inch all the way up to two and one eighth of an inch. Now this is gonna be great for things like fastening trim to a project or to your wall. Um, but I've used this for even just assembling certain pieces together. You can glue and brad nail them together and that will tack them in place and allow that glue to dry. So this is one of my favorite tools and that completes our five tools for everyone looking to get into woodworking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, be safe and happy building.